least 10 children have been killed and 21 others injured in an airstrike in northern Yemen. That's according to the aid group Doctors Without Borders. Houthi rebels say the school was bombed by the Saudi-led coalition. It happened as Yemen's parliament convened in the capital Sana'a for the first time in nearly 18 months. The session was attended by ousted President Ali Abdullah Saleh and other rebel politicians. Donald Cameron has more. At the end of July, Houthi rebels and forces loyal to ousted President Ali Abdullah Saleh signed an agreement to form a council to rule Yemen. And in their first parliamentary session on Saturday, they voted to establish it. We come in today to give a vote of confidence to the political council that is composed of the General People's Congress, their allies, the Houthis and their allies. These are the large political blocs that are carrying out all the work on the ground. Houthi rebels control the capital Sana'a, home to the country's parliament and central bank. And now the pro-Saleh alliance wants to do business with outside governments. But both the United Nations and the internationally recognized government in exile have denounced the proposal. When the so-called political committee was unilaterally formed, the peace talks in Kuwait were still going on. This action no doubt will not help end the unrest in Yemen. The committee's formation is equivalent to declaring war again. The parliamentary session is the first in Yemen since March 2015. The last parliamentary elections were held in 2003. Mainly pro-Saleh parliament members attended. The Houthi pro-Saleh alliance plans to split the proposed council's 10 seats and manage Yemen's military, financial, legal and social affairs. But after several failed attempts in Kuwait to reach a political solution between the two sides, many people here fear the new council will do little to end the fighting. Donald Cameron, TRT World.